In this video, we will solve a tricky SQL query which deal with the concept of consecutive days. For that, the question is, write a query to display the records for which more than 100 people are visiting the stadium for three or more consecutive days. And we have created a table called a stadium for that. Let me query the table and let me explain the question once again with the table. So the schema of the table is we have ID, visit date and number of people visiting the stadium. And if you see the record, we can see visit date is continuous. That is starting from 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th and continuing till 15th of January 2022. And the ID is also corresponding to that visit date. We have ID starting from 1 to 15. And for every day, the number of people visiting the stadium is recorded corresponding to that ID and visit date. So what we have to find is we have to find the records for which more than 100 people are visiting the stadium for three or more consecutive days. That is corresponding to each of the visit date and ID, we have to find consecutive days for which the number of people visiting the stadium is greater than or equal to 100. If we inspect the table once again, 5th, 6th, 7th and 8th, we can see that number of people visiting is greater than 100. So this record satisfy our condition such that it is three or more consecutive days as well as the number of people visiting is greater than or equal to 100. Also, if I come down for 10th, 11th and 12th also, we have number of people visiting the stadium greater than 100 also. This is three consecutive days. So similar record records we want to find from the parent stadium table. For that, we will start with the select clause from stadium and in the question, it is given that number of people should be greater than or equal to 100. So initially itself, I am going to filter the parent stadium table with that filter. That is, I am going to use a where clause where people is greater than or equal to 100. Now I will get the records only for which number of people is greater than or equal to 100. That is, if we see the result, we can see number of people for every record is greater than 100 because I filtered the data based on the filter where filter that is where people greater than or equal to 100. So now what we are going to do is we are going to use a row number window function and we are going to assign a new column for the record that is we are having now. So row number over. So here we are not going to use any partition in the over clause. It is not required because we are going to find the consecutive days based on the entire data set and there is no partition we have to consider within the data. So no partition I will be using in the over clause but we will use an order by clause. Order by visit underscore date and this will be in the ascending order and will be giving a column name as nw underscore id now let us run this once again now we got a new column that is nw underscore id with the row number corresponding to each of the records which are having number of people greater than 100 or greater than or equal to 100 now the logic is like we are going to subtract nw minus id from the original id column let us do that and inspect the result once again then it will be easy for us to understand so we are going to subtract nw underscore id from the id column we are copying this entire query for row number and we are going to give the name as diff now let me run the query let us see the result now if we see the result we can see that this nw underscore id is subtracted from id and we are getting a difference column that is a div column we are getting based on that calculation now we are going to count the records with the help of this new partition that we are cre we have created so if we see the div column we can see that one is repeating two times two is repeating four times three is repeating three times and four is repeating two times and if we compare this with the visit day if we can see that two and three are consecutive days that is this partition 1 1 is corresponding to 2 and 3. Then if I come down 
4 is not coming in the data 5, 6, 7 and 8 is 4 consecutive days corresponding to that a new partition is created 2, 2, 2, 2 and again if I come down after 8, 9 is not coming in the data but we have 10, 11 and 12 corresponding to that a new partition is created with 3 that is 3 records and finally 50, 4, 14 and 15 we have 2 consecutive days with a new partition now we will count the records based on this partition for that I will have to put this query inside a common table expression or we can use sub query also but here for easily understanding I will use the concept of CT because it will make the query simple and whenever we want we can refer the previous table that we have created so the initial query we wrote is considered as a common table expression and after that select start from t1 that is now we are going to count the number of records based on the partition sorry oh, why i am getting this error is with t1 after this with t1 i have to put a as now it will be correct now we are going to count the number of records based on this partition that is count star over here we are going to use the partition by diff column and count will be used as a window function here so partition by diff as conc underscore days that is consecutive days now let us run the query you can see the result Now if I come down and inspect the result, we can see 2 and 3, that is 2 consecutive days are associated with the record. And 5, 6, 7 and 8, 4 consecutive days are associated with the record. And again for 10, 11 and 12, 3 consecutive days are associated with the record. And for 14 and 15, 2 consecutive days are associated with the record. Now in the question it is given that we only want records for which there are 3 or more consecutive days. So we will have to filter the data based on the new column that we have, we have created that is conc underscore days. For that I will put this query also inside a ct expression that is t2 as we will put this query inside a bracket. So after this select all the columns from the t2 table where conc underscore days greater than or equal to 3 now let us run this query and we will get only the records for which conc underscore days that is consecutive days is greater than or equal to 3 now if we see we can see that we have records for which we have number of consecutive days are greater than or equal to 3 in the final result we don't want this calculated calculated columns to appear so we are going to query only the columns which we are which we require in the result that is id visit date and people so instead of this star i'm going to use id comma visit date comma people now let us run the query once again and see the new result now we have result for which records for which number of people is greater than or equal to 100 also the consecutive days are either 3 or greater than 3 that is 5 6 7 and 8 have 4 consecutive days where number of people is greater than or equal to 100 and 10 11 and 12 3 consecutive days where number of people is greater than or equal to 100 the same query we can write with the concept of sub query also with minor modifications also the detail for the table creation and inserting the data will be provided in the description thanks for watching and if you like the video please like and subscribe